All right, guys, now it's late afternoon. I've had several failures on this guy with this tool. It kind of seems to be working, but not quite. Still still locked, still works. Haven't broken it yet. Um, I'm having trouble, even with this tool, I had to make a couple modifications. One, I had to round this thing off kind of like a football. I kept getting the pick stuck. And one time it took me an hour and a half to get the pick out of there, slowly but surely. Finally got it out, then I decided to reshape it. That way, when the discs are turned, this pick will still fit corner to corner in the shorter slot. So anyway, um, it's working as I thought in terms of the, the tensioning. If you'll watch this seam right here, especially on this first couple of discs, when I slide them in, if I can find it, I'm going to use my thumb as kind of a guide because I really got to keep that pick centered as best as I can. Okay, I find the tent, find the disc, get them lined up, and notice how that gap widened just a little bit. And I believe that's the gate. Okay, then I'm, okay, that is a spacer, and I've tried countless times to pick him, as well as all of the others. Okay, there's a the next disc. Um, I can use my finger or some of those deeper discs, if I can just keep it aligned, I can use a screwdriver to tension it. So anyway, let me just keep using my finger. Because I like to use that thumb as a guide. Okay, that's the spacer. And I felt a little gate right there, and you can see it moving in the gate. I think that's it. Oops, fell off of him. Now he's stuck on the spacer. Come on, get in there. I don't feel anything on him. I'm going to leave him and move to the next disc. He's not really binding. That's the spacer. There's the disc. I felt a little click. Right about, right about there. Spacer. Little gate right there. Moving back and forth. It's getting pretty floppy. I've got at least a couple of them. Come on. No, this is when the pig starts getting st stuck. When I got to start in the back again. So. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Let me get the best angle for him to get in there. Get in there. There we go. All right. Okay, that first one we know because that's that really why that has the most dramatic effect on that spacing. So I'm pretty sure he's right. And that's a nice gate too. I'm pretty sure he's right. That's a gate. I'm almost positive. That's a spacer. I'm going to say that's the gate. I've hit it twice and it seems to work both times, so I'm going to leave it. Yeah.
spacer. Come on, get in there. Spacer. It's a spacer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm not going to pick that, Bill. Come out. That's a spacer. That's a gate. That's a spacer. Okay, it just popped a little more, and there we go. Come out of there. All right, guys. Based on the time and all the specialized tools, I'm going to not call this a success. This just took so many attempts so many different tools and I'm amazed of the level of security provided by this old lock originally designed in the 1700s and even today you know 300 years later I'm still having trouble with this design despite having modern technology to make some pretty specialized tools that will only work with that lock. Anyway guys appreciate your time stay safe stay legal life thank you for the lock kept me busy and kept me entertained during this coronavirus lockdown thanks guys